In today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best gaming laptops in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button, and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the HP Pavilion 15.6 inch. HP is trying to make a gaming laptop a value item, which most of the laptops are not considered to be. The HP Pavilion gaming laptop may not be a cutting-edge laptop with the latest features of the HP Omen gaming line, but in my opinion, that is its strategy. HP produced a gaming laptop that can run the latest games, but it can also easily overcome everyday tasks. The laptop has a nice streamlined design, actually. It looks premium, even if touching it shows that it's not all premium material, but it's rather a blend of budget and more expensive materials. It has a good build quality and is sturdy and feels a little substantial in the hand. It has a stylish design and apart from the green backlit keyboard, there's no sign that this is a gaming laptop. It can blend into office environments very easily. It's also pretty thin and light. The keyboard is rather comfortable and has a nice typing experience with plenty of spring and the keys are surprisingly not cramped. The trackpad is standard, it's rather unremarkable and mediocre. It's a trend for the budget laptops to lack on the display end, and the HP Pavilion gaming laptop follows their footsteps. With all the regards, it's not a bad display, it has good contrast and good viewing angles, but the colours are a bit off and the picture is lifeless, and maybe a bit dim too. But the full HD 60Hz screen provides great detail. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics unit runs most of the games pretty well. It runs the older video games with high settings and newer high demanding games in medium to low with really good frame rates. Sessions of the most mainstream multiplayer games like Fortnite and Overwatch are comfortably playable in the highest settings. The laptop also packs an Intel Core i7 GPU with 8GB of RAM and 1TB of hard drive. It has a pretty decent performance, very comfortable throughout the day. This is an excellent product with a lot of value and it can go both ways with plenty of punch. It's a smart option. At number 4, it's the Dell G3. Another budget model for this year is best suited for MMO RPG games. It's not the lightest nor the thinnest of models, in fact it's a little chunky, but it is a gaming laptop that has a focus in the performance department. This is the Dell G3. Additionally, with an amazing GPU and a keyboard that's maybe the best in a laptop, in the mix with its budget price, it's a steal. The Dell G3, when the lid is closed, looks bland and dull, nothing special nor remarkable. It just gets the Dell logo and other than that, nothing else. It has a matte finish which makes it less slippery and very secure in the hands. When you open the lid, there's a different vibe and it feels refreshing. There are hints of blue on the keyboard, on the logo, under the screen and on the outlines of the touchpad. It looks a hundred times better than the lid and it is a delight to look at. The Dell G3 has a 15.6 inch 1920x1080 display, which was a little lacklustre, not the worst we've seen, but we did expect a bit more from it. It could only reproduce 61% of the sRGB colour gamut, which is rather lacking, but it did get a maximum brightness of 231 nits, which isn't bad. The chiclet style keyboard of the G3 with blue backlighting and 1.2mm travel distance and 71 grams of force to actuate produces satisfying clicks, the keyboard was pretty good. The touchpad was rather good too in size and worked as expected, smoothly without any remarks, we'd say decent. With its Intel Core i5-8300H 2.3GHz CPU and 8GB of RAM, 128 PCIe SSD and a 1TB of HDD, it translates into great performance, productivity and processing wise, but when it's combined with NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1050 Ti GPU with 4GB of GDDR5 VRAM, it means you'll get an amazing gaming performance in its category and its monitor will actually help you in MMORPGs. Throughout testing, it achieved decent frame rates in high settings and will get through most games for years. To conclude, the Dell G3 is definitely a good gaming laptop that has sacrificed in looks to provide better performance. At number 3, it's the Asus TUF FX504. The Asus TUF FX504 is a gaming laptop that's in the budget to mid-range price. It's exactly in the middle. Its main selling point is the 120Hz refresh rate, the exceptional keyboard and decent performance specs. Gaming laptops even at entry level tend to keep high prices, the Asus TUF FX504 is a bargain compared to those. 
Yes, it may lack in some departments, such as its SSD and display, but these issues may be overlooked with this affordable machine. The Asus TUF FX504 has tried to present a gaming look with its design, but it looks like a cheap knockoff. It's covered with plastic made to look like brushed aluminium and some angular red paint, and the Asus logo in the same colour. The lid looks ridiculous in my opinion. The inside follows suit. It features the same angular sharp red lines. The keyboard has a red backlight. Simply said, bad design choices. It features a 15.6-inch 1080p display, which is lacklustre as well. It's not a bad display, but it's a little disappointing. The image looked dull and lifeless, but it was very sharp and the detail recreation was fantastic. It managed to recreate 66% of the sRGB colour gamut, which is really below average. And the brightness was also mediocre, with just 220 nits. The keyboard on this laptop, although bad looking, is fantastic to type on. With 1.4mm of travel and springy keys, it was exceptional. In fact, it took me by surprise. But the trackpad is mediocre, sometimes very slippery. The laptop in the graphics department packs an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 GPU with 2GB of VRAM, which is great for playing games in medium to low settings. It runs Rise of the Tomb Raider at 1080p in highest settings at 42fps, which is pretty good. Above the average of its category, in fact. It packs an Intel Core i5-8300H CPU with 8GB of RAM and 1TB SSHD. The specs are good in paper, but in performance it lags a little. Not anything really bothering, but it's not expected from a gaming laptop. A decent laptop with a good GPU. If you're ready to overlook its flaws, it'll be your gaming butt. And number 2 it's the Lenovo Legion Y7000. Finding a gaming laptop that can easily perform and be at a budget price is hard. But asking that from a laptop to be good in any other task is impossible, until the Lenovo Legion Y7000. It's a budget gaming laptop that can perform every task comfortably with its amazing processor and graphics card. And to add to that, the comfy keyboard and exceptional display, and it's above average battery life. The Legion Y7000 has a very sporty and cool look. It screams high performance. The iron grey aluminium hood and the white Legion logo in the middle give it the aggressive look that the laptop carries so effortlessly. The deck is standard and the keys have white backlighting. The bezels are near to none apart from its bottom bezel, and interestingly the hinge is attached by a wide centerpiece creating gaps on the left and the right side. The laptop is an inch thick, and at 5.3 pounds heavy it lands in the middle of the ballpark. The Lenovo Legion Y7000 has a 15.6 inch 1920x1080p panel with lots of colour and sharpness, although it could have been a tad bit brighter. However, it's not really an issue. Watching movies, especially colourful ones, is a joy, a very pleasant experience with colours popping all around. The screen has managed to reproduce 153% of the sRGB colour gamut, top of the class. As for brightness, it has achieved an average of 277 nits max brightness. It's also worth mentioning the keyboard that is so punchy and amazing to type on, a really satisfying experience. The laptop has a performance of 2.2GHz Intel Core i7-8750H CPU with 16GB of RAM that can easily tear up everything you throw at it, while storage-wise it packs a 256GB SSD capable of copying data of 5GB in 8 seconds flat. In its graphics department, the Legion Y7000 packs an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 GPU with 6GB of VRAM that makes it capable of shredding through every AAA game with decent enough frame rates in 1080p with ultra settings. Despite its small flaws, the Legion with its wide range of features and amazing performance is a bargain. At number 1, it's the Acer Nitro 5. The Acer Nitro 5 is proof that you don't have to spend big bucks to enjoy playing the latest AAA games. It packs enough power to run most games at reasonably good frame rates. It lacks in some departments, such as the battery or lower frame rates in the highest settings, but if you say that it's no bother, then the Acer Nitro 5 is one of the most valuable gaming laptops in the market. It's a little bulky product with 5.4 pounds and an inch of thickness, although it'll squeeze into most backpacks, maybe just barely into some of them. The lid has a brushed finish which looks remarkably sleek and stylish. The hinges are crimson red which complement the brushed finish, giving it a serious look. The backlit keyboard is also in crimson. It's a little low profile in comparison to other gaming laptops. Of course, its angular vents and sharp lines near the ports give it away, but generally it looks elegant. 
The 15.6-inch 1920x1080 pixel display looks very sharp and vibrant compared to its price. The display is a little dim, but not uncomfortable to watch in any way. The viewing angles and the IPS panel were good, as expected from an IPS panel. It has a solid keyboard with springy keys which are also very snappy. The key travel is good and the feel is good too. The trackpad is mid-sized and decent. The built-in speakers are very good for a laptop, outputting dynamic sound with great detail. With various testings, we've seen that the Acer Nitro 5 is a performer, especially in gaming where it excelled. However, I will repeat it's a good and stable performer. Productivity and multitasking will be speedy and gaming is great for its price range. It runs the latest AAA games in highest settings with around 30 FPS. It packs an Intel Core i5-8300H processor, an 8GB of RAM and 1TB of HDD, which is also pretty good for most productivity. Graphics-wise, it packs an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 with 4GB of dedicated GDDR5 VRAM, which makes it a beast. It may be a little understated, but it's the best budget gaming laptop. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.